Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you Okay, today we would like to do some exercise regarding to your assignment number 4 Okay, a practice of how to do assembly in Creo and also how to come out with the submission of the assignment for number 4 okay, where you need to do the uh, assembly of the the components and the first submission will be the multi view of the assembly including with the dimensioning and the second submission is the uh, isometric exploded view with the uh, bill of materials okay so let's do right uh, again firstly you will like to do the king directory where you need to uh, come up with the uh, your your words okay here i already have my folder here assembly practice okay and then uh, for today uh, exercise i would like to do uh, some uh, simple or several uh, parts okay that maybe will help you in your exercise for assembly before okay let's, let's uh, start with the um, main component which is i would like to do the this split okay. just name it simply split okay. Okay, so we uh, do in millimeter newton solid okay for the base plate i would like to uh, to use the very very uh, the front of you in the front view so I would like to use here replacement okay, let's say I would like to have a, a plate or this plate that having of circular shape okay maybe the size is 100 of diameters okay, okay actually I would like to share with you some of the method that you may use to do let's say for having uh, a circle okay i mean uh, let's say if you want to do a hole for this one i would like to have this it's only 5 mm okay let's say i just this on the both side okay Let's say I would like to do the hole here, say on the front end, this one. Okay. And then I would like to see here things is not there, so that I can just see the outer line. Okay. Alright, so let's say I would like to have. Circle here, which is how we to fit the hole. This one is one plus ten, and the distance is thirty from the center of the circle. And click OK. Okay, let's say I change the direction here, so that actually I create the hole. Okay, like this. Okay, and then I would like to have another two more holes, which is repetitive from the first one. So I can do a pattern like this, and then I will use axis. And then I choose this one. Let's say I make this thing, the number of members is three, and the distance is hundred twenty. So, okay, then I can have three holes like this. Okay, okay. this is another uh, one way of do a repetitive hole by using pattern. Okay. Let's say I would like to do from the beginning of one. Okay, actually here, we can see here on the model three, I have two step. Actually, it's two plus one step in the pattern. But actually, I can reduce uh, the steps here if uh, I know or if I already know what is the final shape and actually I can plan from the minimum because still for me this one is considered a 
a simple model, 3D model. So you can uh, do everything in one step. Okay, let's see how I do it. Okay, actually on your first asteroid, you can create all three holes together. Okay, so go for edit definition and then placement and then edit again. Then I go here. Actually, I can create the hole from this very step. Okay, let's say I want to have the first hole here. This one is 10. And this one is 30 from the center. Okay, so how I would like to do the remaining two holes having the distance of 120 degrees. Okay, and also 30 degrees uh, distance from the center. So I just use, I just make a one dummy uh, circle here. Okay, like this. You can see here, it's touching at the center of the small hole there. Okay. okay, so this one is the 30 uh, mm hole from the center, sorry, mm uh, circle from the center. And then I would like to do the center line. Okay, so let's say for this one, I would like it from, to be from the, this line to this line is 120. Actually, you can this one and this one under 20 and then you can use another one like this okay you can measure the from this line to this line under 20 okay since you have this uh, actually we call this as the uh, sketch line okay then you can have yeah, the circle like this. Same circle. Vertical circle. And you can delete this circle. So that the details so that you can have these three holes exactly like this. Okay. Now you can have you already have the first component, which is the base plate, and then I will to save it. And close. Then I create a new one. Second part. Okay, this one is the screw. Okay, now uh, since I I do the display on uh, of the orientation is facing from front to back, okay, then I would like to insert the screw from back to front as well. So I need to use the front plane as my uh, main plane to do the shapes. Okay, since the hole is 10 mm, so this one also will be 10. And I would like to have the so going in as the D. Okay. The D. The D. The D. And then for the head of the screw, I would like to use revolve. Okay. And then I choose this top plane. And then sketch view like this. Again, I like to see this one is not here so that I can just see the outer line and then I do this one. I choose this line as my reference line. And don't forget if you like to do the revolve, make sure that you establish the axis of revolution first before you forget, or, or else your uh, revolution cannot be generated. Okay, and then since this is the center line. I would like to do the cap or the head of the screw. Okay, let's say this one is 20. So since I would like to have the head of the screw in shape of hemisphere, so the procession of the hemisphere will be the quarter circle. So this is my quarter circle. Okay. But since I don't generate the area yet, you need to do delete segment to modify the line. This one. This one, this one, and this one. And 
this one. So this is the area when it's established in a uh, in area like this, okay, like this. Okay, this is the cross section you can see here, and then you click okay. Right, so this is the hemisphere or the cap. All right, and maybe if you want to do some detailing on the screw, you would like to do some extrusion like the the, the flat uh, the flat uh, features uh, like to do for the screwdriver. Okay, to insert the screwdriver and to like to rotate the screw going in inside the hole. Okay. I just use my this dome as my reference. Okay. And then I would like to do some rectangle shape like this. Actually, it's this line where the screw. Okay, maybe this one is 5. Okay, this one is 2.5. And this one maybe I just do 10. Okay. And this one the distance may be five like this okay and click okay see you see this one maybe you want to do this one the both side and then maybe you like to do some more actually this one or you can have more okay, like this the T and then remove materials and this is like the flat uh, screwdriver okay to turn the screw okay and then if you like to have some chamfer on this edge okay, maybe this one I put one okay maybe this one I use for the degrees like this okay. okay so this screw looks more uh, decent And you can save this part and then I would like to do the final part which is the nut okay. in the class I just show you the simple nut but there is a proper way to do the nut okay and then as part solid okay since I know that uh, the screw will go in from Back to uh, front, same goes to the nut. I would like to do the orientation of the nut is facing to the front plane. So I use a screw again, the front plane, and then uh, sketch view. Just a reference. So how I like to do the nut? Okay, the nut is basically the hexagon shape. So how I'm doing this hexagon shape? If you do it manually, it will consist. Uh, we will. Uh, take a long time but actually we can have the basic shape here using palette here then you will drag this six side the second and placing on the center of the nut sorry the center of the drawing make sure that the center of the nut is basically at the center of the drawing of the line like this because later on you need to do some revolve if you don't place it correctly then your revolve will become awkward okay and then this one, let's say I just do have 15, already 15, and click OK. And then you can have this nut ready. Okay, this one is 15, and I want to have the hole for the nut is 10 because the screw will go in. Okay, so maybe this one I change it to 10 so that it will look more nicer. Okay, and this one is oh, sorry. Okay, I then need to do it again. Okay, cancel because the placement is not exactly on the
this one, this one. Then pellet, see it's side it has gone. Then make sure it is exactly on the center of the seas. Okay, close. And this one is on one pen. Okay, okay. Okay, make sure it's already at the center of the line between the planes. And then I create a hole here, which is N. Okay. Okay, then OK. Okay, so on both sides. And the thickness here, I would have to have 5. Like this. Okay. Looks okay. And if you look at your assignment, actually there are some radius on the nut. Okay, let's say if you you just use round like this, and maybe this one is from the assignment. If I'm not mistaken, it's like five. Okay, so if you do like this, then your nut is not correct. Okay, this one, maybe this, this one is not. So this one is not actually a nut, okay? So we don't use a, a round tool like this, okay? To make the radius for the nut. We'll do some revolve, okay? So let's say I'm using revolve and then I take, okay, for revolve, make sure for to do the round rounded uh, features for the nut, you take the longest surface okay, or the longest area, for example. Okay, let's see if you look from the top here, Okay, for this kind of nut rotation, okay, you will see one, two, three surface. Okay, whereas if you take on the side view, let's say from the right, you just see one and two view. So this one is the shortest area. So suppose you need to take the longest area, which is the longest, uh, the one that represent uh, by the plane. Okay, this one. Okay, you see one, two, three surface. Okay, so I will choose this top surface and then sketch view. Okay, and again, I would like to, before I forget, okay, I do some reference line here. Okay, before I forget, uh, later on, I need to establish my axis of evolution, which is here. And then I would like to have the radius features. Okay, I will use, use the circle like this. Yeah, let's say this one is five. Okay. And then I use tangent to make sure this this one tangent. So make sure this circle will exactly on this side and this side as well. can see here these things okay. and then I will do the line from this point this point and this point and then I will do the I just want to have this some sectional area here so then I will delete the segment here and here okay, you can see here I just want only this kind of portion then I click OK. Okay, you can see it. I just want to have this small portion area. Then click OK here. And at the moment, it's generated like this. Eh? It's like a flat surface already. But if you remove the material, then you can have a good kind of radius like this. Okay, and then click OK. And this is the kind of nut that you need to perform during your assignment and so maybe during your test later on. Okay. Then save. Okay. Mm. So the next one will do the assembly. So you will create the new one. Assembly file. 
and let's say I call this one as DSM DSM You can see the the ribbon is almost the same like the type uh, the uh, file, but just we have assembly here. So we call the first component to the assembly, which is the main component where everything will be uh, connect or assemble at it. So I will call the base plate here. So this one I just click OK. No need to change anything. Alright, later on I will call the first screw. Okay, first screw here. Open. You can see here the screw is here. Okay, and it's in proper color, which is this is the new item that added in this working area. And to do the assembly, actually you are using the mating, eh? mating uh, technique, which is we meet certain surface with certain surface. Or sometimes we can use any axis like this one and go into any axis like this. Okay, let's say I'm using the mating technique, which is I'm using for the bottom surface of the screw cap or screw head. This one, you can see it's been highlighted with the green color. And actually it has a dotted dotted line like this. And you will meet this surface, okay, the back side of the front plate, this one like this. And at the moment, I'm changing uh, this mode from distance to coincident. Okay, so if you look from the top view, for example, okay, actually this bottom surface and this uh, back uh, back side of the front plate is actually aligned, okay, or at the same line or the same data. Okay, so this is the first one that you like to do, and then I would like to make this uh, what we call the pitch of the or the cylindrical parts of the screw touching with the inner part of this hole okay or maybe you want to uh, yeah if you want to go for the first hole also okay mm -hmm. then go mine like this and you can see here it's become the orange color orange color which means that this assembly or this mating is already bit fixed you cannot move on okay, back and if you like to do some editing let's say you want okay, you can see you have coincident here and you have this coincident okay if you like to make this screw free then you just Uncheck this constraint and become purple color. And for the for at the moment, I just make this visible for the second coincidence. So you can see here, the screw can be moved along the same mating uh, line that with the surface, but it cannot be going out from the uh, back side of the front plate because I don't make it. Uh, enable for the first constraint like this one so let's say I uncheck this one so then if once I uncheck this one then I can take this thing out like this okay but if you want to fix again then just check this thing back and uh, the coincident here is check back and it will return back okay. and you click okay. so this is the first part or sorry the second part first component going into the main component okay, and then I would like to call the second screw which I call the same file okay, next uh, just now I'm using the mating technique okay, actually you can use another technique as well uh, so a combination of mating and so axis for example this one the bottom surface mating with the that surface okay, this one is so considered Instead of I'm using this surface, the cylindrical surface, now I'm using this axis. Eh? You can see here the dotted line along the screw. And I'm aligned with this dotted line inside the hole. Actually, this is the uh, axis of this. So this one is not distant, this one is considered. So it's still going in like this. And I call the final screw to go inside the last hole. Okay. I more prefer using the surface mating because it's much more easier and you can see it. Okay. Uh, less tendency to be mistake. Okay. 
then this one is going to the roadways. Okay, consider. Right. So you can approach, do the same approach uh, for the net. Okay. You can see here, this is where I already planned. Uh, actually, this is the top surface of the net and we're facing on the back side. Okay. So if things been backward and you need to rotate, okay. for example, if this net is facing uh, to the back or if the net is facing to the right, to the left, to the top. Okay. Actually, it's just matter where you do the uh, placement. Eh? on the first part eh? uh, I mean during the first part when you do the extrude okay actually doesn't matter as long as you know how to rotate the parts okay? but for me I know how I should uh, the, the components should be facing so it's easy if you already pre determine okay, how the orientation looks like actually this is one is easy when you do insertion okay, or assembly and this is also kind of technique how to save time during your testing so this one, I uh, use uh, the back side or the bottom part of the net will be facing on the front plane, sorry, the front face of the display. So this one is, you see that? And the inner part of the net, this one, will be made with the split. Then let's do the rest. Then, okay, this is the complete for today exercise. Okay, you can see everything is being assembled here. Then you can save your works. Okay, just a piece of advice always save your work from time to time to avoid anything. For example, your PC become crash and so on. And please be bear in mind if you want to do the uh, your exercise, make sure you just open maybe one or two, uh, maybe one application, maybe just you to avoid your. Uh, Computer become hang okay then this one save okay and close okay now it's like how to submit for your assignment number four which is like I mentioned just now you will need to have two submission one is the assembly of the multi view and one is the exploded isometric with the bill of material okay let's get a new one okay for this one we will do the drawing okay use the form template let's say this one is your id and e 09 let's say this is my id and assignment for submission a which is this one is the assembly of the multi-view okay and this one is empty format this is your model okay you can uh, check and okay. this is the assembly practice okay. this one and then empty format, you find back your previous one. For example, I use my unit 10 frame, which is I done before. Then I click OK. Okay, you can see here, this is the unit 10 frame. Okay, it's already been there, SMB001, the file name here. Okay, date, zero for the state. Okay, and then for the multi view. I just uncheck the uh, so I just make this block view movement uh, unlock general view. I call the part first. Okay, this one. Okay. Since this is the multi view of assembly, so I start with the top plane. Okay, I am still using the third angle projection like this. And this one I don't like to see. You can see there is lots of atom reference here, so I just uncheck everything here. Okay, and then of course the view display. 
for the multi view you need to choose here let's apply and click ok and then use the projection view so, so that one is top and this one is the front view and then and then the view here this one is for the right view so change the view display to hidden apply same as here view display all right then you can have this three view actually you can adjust a bit where to put it okay and then you can call the uh, maybe if you would like to maybe the scale you want to adjust a bit let's see this one you need to start with this one as because this one is the main say i try to use one it looks okay if one I think it's too crowded. Okay, if you can see here, it's too crowded. Yeah, but if I get this one is scale one to one, so I don't like to see this kind of scale. Okay, I will I will use uh, manually uh, just use in terms of ratio. Okay, but let's see the show model let's say i'm stuck with this one Just a bit the uh, the size in here. Maybe this one I need to delete it. Maybe this one I position this one as a bit like this. Okay. And then I use the motion to model for this one. that you your dimension is outside okay maybe 15 is So that is not overlapping with other dimension. Okay. And dimension for this one. Okay, so then you adjust this dimension a bit here, this one a bit here. This. This one is the same identical, I need to show twice, just delete it. So this one is not necessary. Okay, for the thickness. Then you can bring it up. Maybe this one, then just bring it up. Okay, like this. I'm 
shader is going a bit further I think this one is already okay and then we feed it and then save first sorry so this one should be assembly practice okay and some uh, grammatical error there typing error okay and then you save as save a copy and then as a pdf okay okay and this one change to the highest resolution and then monochrome So this will be your first submission for assignment number four. Okay, you can see here multi view of assembly and make sure that you show here. Okay, I forgot the tank here should be taken out. It should be the dimension is not inside the the. Okay, actually, this one ten is ten is same, so no need to show twice. And this one is redundant so again refit and save and then five save as pdf yes override it So no more on the dimension instead of that. And suppose this 120 go a bit further so that the 120 is not touching the object. Okay. So okay, this one is just a practice for today. Make sure that you follow the the standard uh standard for do the dimensioning. Then now we we'll like to do the bill of material. See this is for the second submission. Simon for submission B. Okay, okay, and then still can okay. the format unit and frame. Okay, and then we'll like to call. Okay, actually there is a limitation of using student edition. Where actually we cannot draw our quick table for bill of material. You can see here, let's say I would like to call the quick table compared to the one that we use in our lab. Okay, let's see quick table. Then you can see here when you want to choose the quick table, you having the warning area, warning arrow. The file C program PT Security 6.0 common file test table is integrated was treated with a commercial value of version of pure parametric send and it's not table with the version of pure parametric student for the question use okay so what we can do is we need to do the manual table okay so we just go for pure parametric again Just retrieve the file. This one. Okay. okay. This one is the old one. Okay. Just close. And then I just open this new one. So I'm still select the working directory. The same working directory. the new one drawing Table and then table 
and then insert table so i think this one we need to use uh, three table okay This one, let's place somewhere here. Okay, you can adjust the table a bit later. Okay, I'm going to put here. Okay, and then this is the item number. For example, you can write the table. Okay, later we can fill in this parts. Okay, what I want to show you here is the uh, okay. we call our model this one. Move my state and place here, and this one change to isometry, and then scale. Maybe we can use the one scale like. And then here we would like to use the view display. This one since this is the uh, isometric, so not hidden. And in terms of view state, we would like to do the explode the component. Okay, let's say you just use this one, the default, then you apply. Actually, it just move just a little bit, not that much exploded. So I just have to check it. So we like to use this one, customize exploded. Okay, you can see there is some here, uh, more table here. We placing this thing a bit here okay make sure that the the component is not touching with each other i mean it's not overlapping in terms of viewing okay maybe you can put here something like this okay this one maybe if you want to put some a bit here can write the description here okay. just go for table and then text style okay. 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 so maybe the height is 2 okay, we will try to and then this one is center maybe this one is middle apply and then this one you just type this one and then you type uh, oh, this one is too big and okay, maybe we choose this one as 0 0.5 oh sorry Instead of high to we try to zero point zero two. Okay. 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 And let's try to tap something. Still big. Okay. 
seperti itu. This one is at the center, so is at the middle I don't know how to I don't know why this cannot change but it doesn't matter so this one is item number So I don't know why is the place split. Okay. We want to change it zero point zero eight. This split. Something you need to do a little bit tighter. Just find a good one. Okay. And then this one is the screw zero point one. Having three, and this one is three as well. Okay, now for the 
plus 1 is having 1. Okay, basically, uh, normally we, if you, we can do the quick table, then this kind of thing no need to be do manually, eh? actually it can be auto-generated. Okay. Okay, now, now I know the scale is 1, so I don't want to use this kind of scale, I just use this 1 to 1. Okay, this one is the drawing 2 of 2, sheet 2 of 2, just now the multi-view is drawing 1 of 2 and sheet is 1 of 2. Eh? And then I call annotate. Okay, actually I go for simple, okay, sometimes stable. Now if you cannot create the value, say well, I can go annotate, okay, create symbol, okay, custom symbol. Sorry, maybe I use the okay to make the the notes here. I use annotation. And then I use balloon knot, okay, balloon knot. So I make beef leader, and then I use this make knot, and I click maybe this tab, and then I use uh click the middle click of your mouse, and that's it because the knot is part number two, so I enter knot is number two, and I click okay here. You can see here there is number two here. And then I make another mod. Let's say I'm using for the plate here, and this one is part number one. Okay, okay here, and same goes to the screw. Okay, excuse me, the mouse <laughs> is out of battery, so I need to attach with the new post supply. Right, and Magnet, so I'm choosing this surface and then number middle. This one is number three. So now I can have this already. Okay, maybe I would like to bring this this diagram to the bit to the middle here. Right, and then refit again. Refit. And save. Let's only practice. This is step B. And save as. Save a copy as a PDF. And this is 600. Monochrome. Okay, so this is for your submission, maybe just the exploded, uh, exploded isometry with a bill of material. Okay, uh, if you do your bill of material in the computer lab, actually there is a tool educational educational version that it can have the quick table bill of material and it will auto generate where you can do the table uh, straightly, and then also you can come out with the balloons. Okay. Is just show annotation there okay so this is the quantity item name and item number okay this is what we call from bottom to top okay it goes from item number one to three which is the starting number is going from down to up so make sure that uh, the details of the drawing you make sure that you fill in uh, correctly okay i just leave it like this because uh, i would like you to use your own one okay and that's all so the first submission is this one 
you can open maybe on your practice to see stop. Okay, this is a summit to A. This I made for A. You can see here. Okay, this is submission of A, the multi view of the exploded uh, of assembly drawing. And then the submission B is the exploded drawing with bill of materials. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, we can try for assignment number four. And this is uh, for him for test two Creo. Actually, it's like how to prepare for your test to Creo. It's like you do your assignment number four, but you need to do it within three hours. Okay. So please try to, to do the practice and have a good timing on that. Okay, with that, thank you very much and see you.